It may be a minor thing, but at least we're doing something here in British Columbia and we should act quickly. The next time you try to restock your liquor cabinet to make a screwdriver or a white Russian, you'll have a harder time finding some Russian vodka to make it with. The BC government has pulled all Russian products from the shelves of BC's liquor stores. We have to do our bit here in British Columbia. Just take out the the Russian vodkas and the beers that are being sold in BC liquor stores and say enough's enough. Earlier Friday, BC Liberal leader Kevin Falcon was calling on the NDP to make the ban. Deputy Premier Mike Farnworth responded quickly. In a statement Friday afternoon, he says, as we stand with those who want to live in peace and against those who commit deplorable and illegal acts of aggression, we have put an immediate halt to the importing and sale of Russian liquor products from our BC liquor stores and provincial liquor distribution centers. I've called about 20 independent liquor stores here in Bangkok. Vancouver, and they all seem to suggest that they didn't carry many Russian products to begin with. It's uh, it's symbolic in the sense that I don't pretend that this is going to make a huge effort, but if all countries around the world do their bit to take away whatever they can uh, from those that uh, are making a living off of uh, you know Putin's regime in Russia, then perhaps that in some small way might start to raise pressure on him. The ban follows Ontario's move to remove Russian products from its 679 liquor stores and its other sales channels. What Falcon wants to see next? Seizing any BC property of Russian elites close to Putin, starting with doing land title searches, a process he says could take a few weeks. But the government hasn't agreed to do that. And I think we owe it to the freedom-loving Ukrainians that are just going through such horrible times right now. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.